What is up, everyone? This is Gamer Pro Miner. Welcome to Pokemon Fire Red version. Oh, sorry. Make sure you. I sound like Market Flyer. Like, I'm really serious. But anyway, guys. Sorry about that. But. Part 1. Oh, sorry. Part 1 of the introduction is out. Oh, jeez. 23%. As I said. Stop. As I said. Part 1 and the introduction is out. Make sure to check it out, guys. Um, it's in, it's in the play, it's in the new playlist called Pokemon Fire Red GBA. So we're just gonna go ahead and press start. Oh, there's a touch gesture so that you can see what I'm doing. And see, let's go. Surgical at Professor Oak's lab. Previously on request. Okay, what does it say after this? I don't know. Hey, wait, don't go out. Oh, it plays the whole quest. It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need you and your own Pokemon. I know. Here, come with me. In Pallet Town, took on Jacob Squirtle with Charmander and won tena tenaciously. Cedric left Professor Oak's Pokemon Research Lab. Again. I don't know why I did that for some reason. I was trying to find some running shoes. Cedric rested comfortably, comfortably at home. Comfortably. Yeah. Athena, lower, please. Lower more, a lot. And Cedric saved the game here in Pallet Sound. So, guys, today basically we're going to deliver Oak's parcel. Like what my what, like what you guys told me. We also have to train our little Inferno here, cause duh, we gotta train it. So I'll be back when this Pokemon is already weakened, I guess. Hey guys, this is Game for Runner back again. Yo, look at this. True stories. Okay, look at this. Sorry about that. Sorry, Dad. Look at this. True stories. My Inferno survived in a survived in a Pidgey battle with only one HP. I was supposed to battle that Ratata, but I ran. Look at this. My Inferno is my Inferno is like is like. My Inferno is like, God. <laughs> my Inferno is someone to not quiet. My Inferno is like someone to not be messed with. Okay, I'll take the Pokemon for a few seconds. But yo, my Inferno was actually legit. I farted. Sorry. My Inferno was actually legit. <laughs> Let me see if I can do that again. But my Inferno learned... Uh, to my surprise, level 7, my Inferno learned Ember. So the next attack is going to be something. We don't know that yet. Oh, that Ember. Probably going to remove Growl if I have the rare candy cheats. But right now, guys, whoa. Just, I'm in love with this Inferno. Like, I want to snuggle it in real life. So as I said, guys, today we are going to... Sorry about that. My dad's in a meeting and you gotta be quiet. Hey, uh, you came from Pellet Town? Yes. You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I, can I get you to take it to him? And we received Oak's parcel from the Pokemon Mart clerk. And we got it in the key items pocket. Thanks, then. Quiet. You have no voice, so stop shouting. So we're gonna go with options. Uh, we're gonna go with fast, cause we want this. Why am I supposed to walk like this? We're supposed to get running shoes. How do you get running shoes in this game? Oh, you can't get running shoes here? Really? Serious? You can't get running shoes here. Well, this is taking too long, but I'll be back when we get to Pallet Town. Hey guys, we're back, and my Inferno just grew one level, which is, uh, is it right here? Yeah, it's right here. At, uh, it's now level eight that I train it, but now we're going to go to Professor Oak, Professor Oak's lab. I'm going to go talk to him. Oh, Cedric, how old is my Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. 
You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me. We delivered Oak's parcel. Ah, it's the custom Pokeball. I had it in order. Thank you. Gramps. I almost forgot. What did you call me for? Oh, right. I have a request for you two. On the desk there is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Cedric and Jacob, take these with you. We received the Pokedex from Professor Oak. You can't get detailed data by just... Oh, de you can't get delayed at data on Pokemon by just seeing them. You must catch them to obtain complete data. So here are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. And we received five Pokeballs from Professor Oak. Let me put the Pokeballs in the Pokeballs bucket. When a wild Pokemon appears, it's a fair game. Just throw a Pokeball at it and try to catch it. This won't always work, however. A healthy Pokemon can escape. You have to be lucky. To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world, that was my dream. But I'm too old. I can't get the job done. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright, Gramps. Leave it all to me. Cedric, I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know. I'll throw a town map. I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Cedric. Ha ha ha. Don't bother coming around my place after this. He's so mean. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna have to delete all these notifications. Just leaning in, into my device. Into this device. Well, anyway, we're just gonna go. And first, we're gonna go to our mommy. We're gonna go to mommy. My one issues. I can't one like this. Take a quick rest. Okay. Yeah, all right. Don't give me running shoes. <laughs> Ma is so mean. Give me running shoes right now. I'm in need of running shoes. Anyway, let's go here to Daisy's. Uh, let's go to Jacob's house. Run past, get to run an errand. Gee, that's lazy of him. <laughs> this will help you. And we received the town map from Daisy. And we put the town map in the key items pockets. Uh, can we go to our mom now? Mom. Okay, I guess he won't give me running shoes. Well, that's fair. They don't want me to get running shoes. That's, that's fair. That's fine. But guys, we're, we are going to catch our first Pokemon, and it's a Pidgey. So we're just gonna go ahead and scratch this little Pidgey. It's on the yellow zone. We're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and catch it. Let's check our bag. Where are the Pokeballs? All right, there's the Pokeball. So let's go and catch this little Pidgey. It should work though. I do have a lot of money in this game, so. <gasps> gotcha! Pidgey was caught. All right, we got Pidgey guys. Woo! <laughs> Fiji's data was added to the Pokedex. Of course, we're gonna need the bird of the region. I guess we're gonna go ahead and give this Fiji a nickname. It's the nickname I've been thinking for so long. And I just want, it's the, it's the nickname I got. So it's called Echo because birds echo through the sky with their oh! <laughs> Fiji echoes through the sky with oh! I think that's Zapdos or Moltres, I don't know. We're also gonna catch this Rattata and this Rattata is going to be called Jerry, and um, I'm also going to put it back in the grass because I, I don't really need that. Rattata is basically most, actually the weakest Pokemon that I've ever met. Honestly. And so guys, here it is, our third team member, which is called a Rattata, but we're going to do a little something with this Rattata. I'm going to leave it in the grass because it's basically a new feature in Pokemon, right guys? You leave your Pokemon in the grass. Sorry about that. All right, let's go here to Iridian City. I, I can't run. Th thanks. I can't run now. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. Yeah, I'll be back when our Pokemon is already healed, guys.